what principles do you think need be applied in Bucharest uh, to attain the same level of quality of life as in uh, Vienna? As we know, according to a recent Mercer study, Vienna is um, number one at life quality. I did a little uh, research on this aspect of uh, life quality in Vienna and I was wondering what is the reason for this uh, number one ranking. And there is uh, a, a very strong point is the social housing program because a big point of uh, life quality is if you are happy with your uh, living uh, situation, with your apartment, with your house. And uh, the city of Vienna is uh, famous for the so-called social housing program, which uh, supports affordable housing for people. This is not just cheap uh, apartments, but they are good uh, equipped, good quality, and so they have... Uh, Yeah, people are very happy with their living conditions and it's not just the apartment itself. It begins more and more that uh, in a residential complex you have facilities for children playing, for meeting each other, for doing a party and so such uh, communication uh, elements. That is one point of the uh, life uh, quality, the housing. The other point is green elements in a city. So <clears throat> I think you have in a part of Bucharest what I've seen a lot of trees and, and green uh, greenery. And I think um, if you, for example, not just look to Vienna, but for uh, looking to uh, Barcelona in Spain, I think the public space is very important. The public space between the buildings. So you, the buildings are uh, one part of a city, but the public space, the gardens and parks are very, very important. That's a second aspect of life quality. And a third aspect maybe is uh, the uh, security, social security, which means uh, that you feel safe and, and uh, have a clean public transport. So a lot of effort in the public transport, metro system and so on, because you can reduce the traffic. I have seen a lot of traffic with a lot of snow at the moment. So that means uh, there was even, I think, a worse situation ever at the moment in Bucharest. But if you um, increase public, perfect public transport, you have better life quality. Can you identify uh, the new trends in architecture and urban planning for 2010 and also the years to come? What are we headed for? Um, to, add, to identify new trends is uh, difficult because I think it's more and more uh, spread in different directions, the architecture. But uh, I see... Um, Our office is working in a or seeking in a direction uh, of uh, s positioning the human being in the center of the architecture. This sounds a bit uh, uh, normal, but it is not at, uh, in fact in many buildings. So sometimes you uh, architects uh, or investors try to do buildings which maybe looking are looking good and are um, strong buildings, but they forget about the inhabitants, about the uh, people living in the object. And that is the main focus we should uh, uh, look for. What is the position of the architect in the current society? Um, is he a major decision factor? How is he perceived? He is not. And I'm sad about this because I think the architect could be a perfect uh, mixture between pragmatism, functionality and poetry, uh, so about art and function. And this is sometimes something not just for a building but for the whole uh, life that you should have a balance between brain and heart. And uh, I think architects could play that role. They should more and more uh, be 
stronger in playing the role of a director, as in a film, in a movie, director of a project and really uh, give the, the strong influence in developments and not just going back and just being somebody who is designing a nice facade. That's a totally wrong uh, development. We have to do um, flexible buildings, that's very, very important uh, because it is more and more that uh, things change very quickly. You begin to develop a, a commercial building and you end up with an apartment block in the same building. Within one year uh, it changes. We have to, to make uh, flexible structures and you have to be, as an architect, um, very strong to do these developments.